But I forgot to tell you one thing In 1906, Upton Sinclair and other muckrakers took a stand and exposed meat packing companies. Mainly, these meat packing companies were located in Chicago. Upton Sinclair exposed these meat packing companies because of their factory conditions and how unsanitary the meat was processed and packed. Labor unions also boycotted and complained about the working conditions and how they felt like they were wage slaves. Upton Sinclair then wrote a book called The Jungle, which exposed everything about the meatpacking companies. After Upton Sinclair wrote this book, the U.S. House of Representatives, Congress, and President Theodore Roosevelt passed the Fear Foods and Drugs Act of 1906. Upton Sinclair was born in Baltimore and died in New Jersey. Upton Sinclair traveled from his hometown, Baltimore, to Chicago to do his journalist work. This topic took a stand in history in many ways. He referred to specific people or act like the Pure Foods and Drugs Act of 1906, as well as the Meatpacking Act of 1906. Open Sinclair took a stand by exposing the meatpacking companies through a book called The Jungle, which then influenced the House of Representatives, Congress, and Theodore Roosevelt to pass both the Pure Foods and Drugs Act of 1906 and the Meatpacking Act of 1906. Washington H. Wiley took a stand against meatpacking by creating many programs like the Poison Squad and Factory Inspections. The Poison Squad took a stand in history by risking their lives for scientists to see how poisonous food dies or poisonous food preservatives hurt the digestive system. Those were just three of the different things that took a stand against meatpacking in Chicago in 1906. See these cows here in the back? In the 1900s, meatpacking industries slaughtered them. The bowel is just a fraction of the meatpacking process. Just because you can kill doesn't mean you can process. Upton Sinclair exposed meatpacking industries in 1906 because of their unsanitary work conditions. He also went undercover as a muckraker to get on the inside of the guts. Journalists all over the U.S. were exposing things just like Upton Sinclair during the Progressive Era. Workers thought that the work conditions were horrible, so all of them started boycotting against the work conditions. Labor unions took a stand against the unhealthy environment and the meatpacking factories. The factories were covered with rats and other germs roaming around the meat. The diseases in the factory made employees ill or possibly die. The conditions in the factory would cause meat packers to lose their fingernails or their fingers would fall off. Political cartoons were made on the meat packing dealing with the disgusting conditions in the factory. Meat Inspection Act of 1906 took a stand against meat packing. A way they took a stand was factory inspections. In these factory inspections, they would go in and try to find any misbranded or poisons in the food. Mainly, they would find these poisons in the food dyes or preservatives. One product that was misbranded a lot was ketchup. They would make it out of fermented tomato cores and skins, vinegar for flavor, and dyes to make it red. Two people worked together to stop unequal pay in way too many employment hours. Nights of labor was making a big change in the working world for employees. Laws were made where children did not have to work in factories where children could not have to risk injuring themselves. Employees hours were really long so they were cut back so they would have time to rest. The Poison Squad took a stand against meatpacking by being a test subject for scientists. In 1906 it was hard for scientists to fault poisonous foods because they had no proof. The Poison Squad was made up of 12 test dummies and a chef. The chef was known as Perry. Perry would cook up high class dishes with poison in them. Before the members of the Poison Squad would eat the dish, scientists would have to weigh them, check their temperature, and check their pulse rates. They would also collect their urine, sweat, and hair and submit it to their weekly physical 
where scientists would check up on them. Theodore Roosevelt was the president during this time, so Upton Sinclair sent him a letter asking for him to call an inspection on meatpacking industries in Chicago. This project made a difference by changing the lives of every single U.S. citizen. It made it to where you can eat your food without hoping that you won't get sick. It made it to where you can look at the label of your food and know what you see is what you are actually getting. All of this was possible because Upton Sinclair wrote a book, The Jungle, exposing the unsanitary working conditions, meat packing, and processing conditions. Hello there. Back in 1906, you used to get slaughtered. How does it feel? Can I have some chocolate milk? I like chocolate milk! Chocolate milk! Chocolate milk! Chocolate milk! Hey. Oh, Three bars on me, I ain't talking about the Wi-Fi band, 10 wrist, I ain't talking about the sci-fi Look at my leather, same color as my caca Feeling like Messi, trying to kick it like soccer Ask me for cash, I say pineapples, who? Caucasian gold, I might shine at you, Math Mathsuiter, I point the nine at you